Problem 47 here asks us to convert each structure to a Newman projection around the bond highlighted in red. Now, um, what you'll want to do, generally speaking, with these structures is to um, always kind of look at things from uh, the left. That's, that's kind of like the unspoken convention, but you could look down these bonds from the right to left if you want. But I would, I would always look down each of these guys from left to right. And so remember again when you set up your uh, your your uh, Newman projection the back carbon is going to be a circle and the front carbon is going to be a dot. So that's going to be my dot. As you look down that bond you have to imagine three-dimensionally you looking even close your eyes maybe even look down that direction and imagine what you see pointing up. You're going to see a a methyl group pointing straight up. And be very careful. Remember the wedge means it comes out and if you're looking in this direction it means that the bromine is going to the right and the hydrogen is going to the left. So it's not arbitrary. It does make a difference where you put the bromine. On the back carbon it's much kind of more simple. You see the CH3 pointing down and then you're going to see these uh, two hydrogens pointing off to either direction. This molecule, we're going to again look down from the left. And what you're going to see attached to the front carbon, which is, you know, the dot bonded to this little dot here in the Newman projection, we're going to see a hydrogen coming straight up. And then be careful, the chlorine means out, okay? And when you're looking at this direction, the chlorine is going to be coming out uh, to the right, moving to the right and the bromine is going to be going back behind the board, right, back behind your computer screen, and so when you're looking at that direction, it's going to be on the left, okay? And then um, the Newman structure is pretty complicated here. Remember, this is the back carbon, the, the, the open circle of the Newman projection, so we want to draw lines to the open circle, and what you see also pointing up is a chlorine, okay, so it's eclipsing, and then you got to be careful, where does the bromine go, where does the hydrogen go? Now again, when you're looking from left to right, you're going to see a bromine on your right hand side. So the bromine should be actually eclipsing the chlorine. Okay? And the hydrogen is going back behind, so it's there. And let's just look at this really quickly. Um, you can see that the chlorine is coming out and the bromine is coming out. As you're looking down the um, bond, the chlorine and the bromine are on your right hand side as you're looking down that molecule. So this is on the right. And on the other side we have on dashes are your bromine and your hydrogen. And the bromine and hydrogen are over here and that's on your left hand side as you're looking down the molecule. If this is making no sense at all, it's best to make a model at this point, okay? Let me go ahead and do uh, this molecule here and see what you get. Okay, I urge you to pause the video, try it yourself, and then resume after you have drawn something. So let's see, we're going to look down this bond and pointing straight up is your ethyl group. Okay, Going to the right hand side it looks like a chlorine and going to the left hand side it looks like a hydrogen. On the back carbon, which is this carbon here, um, we see an ethyl group pointing directly down from our vantage point. And on the right hand side is going to once again be a chlorine coming off to our right. And the hydrogen is going to be appearing to be coming off to our left. Okay? So make a model check practice. It takes a bit of imagination and um, practice to get these things right.